Hello and welcome to my video on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and the new uh, Eurofighter uh, Typhoon aircraft which I've just literally purchased. Um, I think it cost about £16 to buy and I got it directly from the marketplace and there you can see it on the screen there. Um, comes with a few different liveries. Um, so let's uh, pick one, just any one, doesn't really matter. I'll have that shiny one, I think. It's quite good to demonstrate on. And um, we'll just have a quick look through these different ones here. And then select a weather. And then I think we'll fly up to... We take off from somewhere quite pretty, maybe, yeah, the North Wales, I think. I'll just pick a random airport from North, North West Wales there, and um, we'll set a departure and get ourselves up and running. Let me take a few seconds to load. So here we are in the cockpit. Um, I don't think... It's not a particularly photogenic cockpit, this one. It's um, it's fairly, it looks fairly, well, almost cartoony, I think, in a way. So it's not, I, I, I've not actually seen um, what a real typhoon cockpit looks like, but uh, I imagine it's similar. But yeah, I think they could have done a little bit, a bit of a better job than this. But then, you know, when you, when you think you're paying 15, 16 pounds for, for this aircraft, it's, uh, you know, it's it's okay. It gets you around quick, put it that way. So, anyway, I've got a few different preset views set here. You can see the canard um, wings working there with my joystick, and I've got a few a few different views which I've preset on this. So, um, um, maybe uh, let's have a look outside the aircraft. Um, you can see that it's pretty well done. I quite like the way this thing looks from the outside. It's fairly accurate. Um, go around to the other side you can see the reflection sort of the uh, lovely reflection of the, of the paintwork and the sunlight there. Yes, it does look really good. I'm quite impressed with the, the outside of the aircraft. I, I'm, <laughs> I've started on a, a random airfield here, and I'm, we're, uh, we're sat on a grass runway. When I don't think you'd ever take an aircraft like this off from a grass runway. Probably not the dumb thing to do. <laughs> if it's as short as this airfield, it isn't very long at all. So um, yeah, we might be in a bit of trouble here. But anyway, we'll have a, we'll have a quick go. Let's um, see if we can get this baby in the air. Off we go. Yeah, just about made it off the end of that runway there. Um, so anyway, we'll climb to a, quite a nice altitude. This is uh, some beautiful scenery here of um, Snowdon uh, mountain range uh, just up north of Wales there. There we are, um, some stunning scenery. I've got quite, I'm running quite, um, it's not on top of the range um, system here that on this, this PC. It's um, fairly sort of mid-range I would say there's <laughs> certainly the graphics card is um, GeForce graphics card 16 no sorry an 8 gigabyte graphics card uh, can't remember which which type it was I will look that one up and um, put it in the notes but this this system it seems to run fairly well and every, every now and again um, the whole thing just Stops for a few seconds and then carries on. I, I, presumably, it's doing. I don't know whether that's an internet problem or the software is trying to catch up with the speed at which this thing is travelling. Um, you can see the speed there increasing as we're nose diving in towards back down towards the ground. Um, so anyway, I'll just leave you to enjoy this uh, little flight here. I'm going to go down. Um, back pretty much down to ground level and I'm going to do some low flying uh, through uh, 
through Snowdon and the surrounding mountains there. So yeah, just enjoy that. Some great um, reflections there, some sunlight reflections on the on the canopy. Um, very very clever. This flight sim uh, is just worlds apart from um, FSX and um, all the other ones that you know that we've been using up until this point. Um, there's still a long way to go. There are still a lot of problems with it, but um, for me, it's just absolutely phenomenal. Really love flying this flight simulator. Um, I bought this aircraft really just to to get around the scenery a bit quicker. It's, it's lovely just pottering around in a in a little jet, uh, sorry, in a little piston aircraft. But um, it does tend to go all quite slowly. Um, this thing you can open it up and tra <laughs> travel, you know, twice the speed of sound um, at low level without you know really hurting anyone, and um, you get to see all this amazing scenery flying past very quickly. So um, yeah, really, really nice, nice aircraft. Um, you can see the landing gears coming down there. I've just reduced the speed. I'm just mucking around with it. And there we've got the the upper air brake deployed. That really knocks off the speed if you're coming in for a um, quick landing, um, which I tend to do. <laughs> see an airport and just nose dive towards it with this thing. The uh, Afterburner effect there is fairly good. I've seen, I've seen it slightly better on other aircraft, but so it's not too bad. see how high this thing can go. Um, I think I've had it up to just over 60,000 feet before you, you know, there's just so little atmosphere we, you know you, you can't generate any more lift with it even with the thing at full afterburner. Um, so yeah it's um, that's pretty cool. Some lovely outside views here of the aircraft. Altitude. So we'll look and see what preset views there are on the outside of this aircraft. Oh, there's only two by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just the two, so there's that one. The other side, which is uh, it's not not brilliant. Um, presuming at some point, um, flight sim will allow you to set up your own views and maybe save them. I don't think you can do that at the moment. Still, still don't have that capability. I'm also looking forward to um, having the ability to replay because it's always nice, especially you know when you do a, a pretty cool landing to look look back from. The tower point of view. I do miss not having that function on this flight sim. Um, whenever I did a landing on previous flight sims, I, w I would always look at the replay and just see what it looked like in real time because it's, it's very difficult to judge how good your landing is from within the aircraft. Um, so yeah, that would be pretty awesome. Maybe sometime soon, who knows.
back down to where we started from at high, high speed, nose diving back down with full afterburners on. Um, see what we can see down here. This thing does my, that does move really, really quickly. It's, it's, it's quite nice actually. It's nice to be able to just fly through these clouds at high speed and um, without killing yourself. Clouds are really good. They're still a little bit grainy on this. I, I've I've tried a few different settings. Um, I've still got the sort of grainy edges to some of these clouds, but um, you know it's a lot better than it was. It's um, one of those things that you just got to ignore for the time being. To be honest, I think even some of the best graphics cards have still got the same problem. So um, yeah. So just down there we can see, where are we? Heading back down again. Nice view of the rear of the aircraft there as we did a little roll, high speed roll. Um, yeah, so somewhere around here I think is where we took off from. I think that's Anglesey in front of us. Um, yeah, you can just see the airport there on the right hand side of the screen as we go over the top of it so I'm gonna whiz past and see if we can spot the one that, it's one of these airfields around here I think we'll probably see it in a minute I think it's just on the end of that little island sticking out there but it's probably one over there we can yeah let's see if we can get into that I'm doing I'm going incredibly fast at the moment but I'm gonna slam the brakes on we're gonna put the deploy the um, air brake uh, full flaps and we're going to see if we can line ourselves up for the runway. This is, I'm going way too fast for this so the chances of me actually making this, making, getting this onto the runway and stopping up pretty much non-existent but yeah why not let's have a little go, let's have a muck about, see if we can get it on, I'll loop back around again, I think I'm still going to be going too fast. <laughs> yeah this is quite a slippery aircraft this one, I'm trying to slow it down from high speed is uh, is quite a challenge. You need to have a quite a nice little, um, nice long line up for the for the runway for this for this aircraft. Really good. So well, let's see what happens. I imagine we'll probably do a little bounce and have to carry on at this speed. But where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Somewhere around here. Yeah, I can just see it right there. We are. I see the airport's just appeared in front of us. See what happens here. Landing gear down, and I it's saying stall, but I'm not quite sure why. Oh well, I, yeah, I'm coming in a, a bit too fast. Yeah, definitely, definitely way too fast for this runway, but. Um, Maybe we'll just do a touch and go. <laughs> can just see the runway there now in front of us. Um, let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's pretty quick. I, yeah, I'm not gonna. See these little stops it keeps doing them. I think it's to do some scenery updates along the way. <laughs> yeah, dear. yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe we'll carry on. <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's put the landing gear up. Um, give it full welly. I'm gonna climb, I think yeah, I'm gonna climb up and then we're gonna come back down and we'll land on the runway behind us this time we'll have um, a bit more of a, a bit more of a line up
so here we are, runway ahead. I'm gonna try and keep it lined up. Max air brakes, landing gear down, we've got full flaps, and we'll see what we can do. I think I'm kind of probably gonna overshoot this again. I don't think this runway's long enough. I have no, I have no idea which, which airport this even is. Um, but we're gonna get it on the ground anyway. Yeah, much better approach this time, but way too fast, way too fast on such a short runway. So we're probably, I'm not gonna be able to shut this thing down. Oh, I've since realized that this thing does have reverse thrust, and I didn't know at this point. Uh, so I, yeah, we, the, I didn't use reverse thrust, hence overshooting the runway quite badly. Uh, but anyway, we'll just bring it to a stop and get the thing turned around. This thing handles really, really well on the ground. It's very, very nice to taxi this aircraft, and there's so much visibility. Looking down, you're quite high up in that cockpit, so it's um, yeah, it's really good. Anyway, we'll just park her up. Maybe just over here. Doesn't really matter. So let's just have a maybe have a quick look at this cockpit in a bit more detail now that we've landed and we're safely on the ground. Um, switches, yeah, there's quite a, a lot of these switches do do things. Um, as you can see, the ones that are highlighted when you hover over them actually do things. So there, there's quite a lot going on in this cockpit. It's not too bad, really. It's um, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, let's have a look here on this side, maybe. Um, yeah, canopy doesn't seem to work. There's no switches for the canopy, so um, I'm not sure what the, if there is a command for uh, opening doors and canopies on on this flight sim. Um, I certainly haven't found one, and uh, yeah, so maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have that function. Um, MCDU. Uh, well, it's not an Airbus, but it's uh, you know. The, this thing is mostly functional by the looks of things. You can program it and do whatever you want, flight plans and all that sort of stuff, so that's really cool. Um, I, I have absolutely no idea what any of these buttons do. That's obviously the parking brake, but um, as far as all those green buttons on the, on the center console there, I have no idea, absolutely no idea. A lot of them work, and you can select different things on there. Electrics, lights, and fuel on this side by the looks of things. Um, generators, and what not. Um, yeah, Ooh, got internal lights there, that's pretty cool. Yeah, all together, it's not, not too bad. I'm quite pleased with it. I, I fly this thing quite a lot now. Um, it's a, it's a nice plane to fly. I must admit, when I first bought it, the controls were all topsy turvy. I couldn't get the thing to even get off the ground. It was. It turned out that everything was reversed for some reason, but managed to sort that out with a little bit of fiddling here and there. So it's all sorted now. But yeah, generally, um, I would re definitely recommend this aircraft if you want to have just a good, quick blat around. It's got some lovely preset views there of the cockpit. Um, it's a great, it's just great fun. It's great flight sim, um, you know, unless you're flying an airliner 
all the other aircraft are fairly slow. This thing you can just throw around really quickly and get up there and just look at the scenery and it's just great fun and it looks fantastic from the outside. So, yep, that's the Eurofighter Typhoon. Thanks for watching.